So now we're going to de demonstrate how to make um, amaret. Is that right, Mum? Amaret. Date, date uh, slice. Date slice in English. That's right. So she's already pre-made the filling. So just explain, Mum, firstly, what ingredients you need. You need two hundred and fifty grams of dates. Pitted. Pitted one, and then um, lemon rind lemon rind and mandolin rind 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 yeah and uh, you put uh, an aniseed about half a teaspoon of aniseed aniseed essence yes and then you put it on the stove hot plate stove and put about three quarter of a cup water mm -hmm. let it Cook that and then mash it mm -hmm. all up, mash it all up. So you gotta, how long do you have to let it boil for? Not long, no, not long. No, not long, just uh, till it start getting very hot and then you switch it off, mm -hmm. mash it mm -hmm. and put it on the side to cool down. Okay, that's so it. that's the end result of the filling right there um, for the MRET. Okay, and then we also need to use mm. puff pastry. No, it's a short crust pastry. Ah, oh, short crust pastry. Short crust pastry, and then you put you're putting the filling. I'm putting the filling. Okay, so while you're doing that, um, so do these get fried, Mum? Yes, yes. You fry them? Yes, I fry them very soon. Okay. I have the oil going already. Okay, so can you actually put them in the oven instead of fried as a healthy option? Oh, uh, you can. You it can. just doesn't taste the same. But it doesn't taste the same, that's right. Okay. So what she's doing at the moment now, she's actually folding the pastry to make the amaret because the amaret are actually like a rectangular shape. So she's just going to keep putting the filling in. So just to be clear, 250 grams of of uh, pitted dates, yeah. um, lemon rind, and mandarin rind. So, how much of that do you put? Just of the rind? Uh, about one teaspoon each. Teaspoon? Yeah. Ah, okay. So, one teaspoon of rind, lemon, and one teaspoon of mandarin rind. And, and how much did you say the aniseed essence? About half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. And how much water? Uh, three quarters of a cup. Around three quarters of a cup. So you just let it boil and then um, you'll see the dates soften and you pretty much switch it off not long after you boil it. Was that right? Yeah. Okay. So now she's just um, making them red. She's uh, filled them and then she's cutting them now. Uh, making them into the shapes. I guess you can make them any shape you want, but yes. the traditional way is this it's way. Triangle. Not triangle, mum, rectangle. Rectangle, yeah. <laughs> <In some moment. Whatever. laughs> you can make them triangle if you want. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to stop for now uh, because it looks like she's going to make quite a few and then we'll get back to it when she puts it in the, in the fry pan. No, I'll put it in oil. Yeah, in oil. Okay.